Welcome to Digital Learning, an initiative of Directorate of Collegiate Education, Government of Karnataka. Two Friends, a short story by G. D. Mopasan is prescribed for second semester BA, General English, Bengaluru North University. In the previous sessions, the short story has been de discussed in detail along the lines of introduction, elements of the plot, characterization and themes, etc. In this session, the comprehension part or the textual questions will be analyzed. I am Nandana NG, Assistant Professor of English, GFGC, Bagipalli. The contents of the presentation are learning objectives, session outcome, recap of previous session, comprehension, analysis of the textual questions and once more recapitulation of the entire session followed by multiple choice questions. The learning objectives the, through the course of this presentation, importance of testing questions will be revealed. Analysis and explanation of short answer questions for 2 marks, paragraph answer questions for 5 marks and essay answer questions for 10 marks. Remember, there are two types of questions, teaching questions, testing questions. Teaching questions are those which occur through the classroom teaching or through the course of the teaching in the classroom wherein the teacher and the student can discuss. The teacher can use such questions, teaching questions to assess whether the student has prior knowledge of a particular concept etc. Testing questions are the ones which you can expect in your semester exams wherein the knowledge that you have gained will be tested. So here the focus will be on testing questions. Importance of testing questions. By the end of the session, the student will be able to write, will be able in a better position to know how to write short answer questions for 2 marks, how to consolidate the key points for paragraph answer questions for 5 marks and how to write descriptive answers for essay answer questions which are for 10 marks. Let us recap of the previous session. Characterization is a literary device to highlight and explain the details about a character in a story. So in the previous session, characterization and themes in the short story Two Friends were dealt in detail. And then also a character sketch of Monsieur Morisot, Monsieur Sauvage and the Prussian officer was discussed in detail. Theme is defined as a main idea or an underlying meaning of a literary work which may be stated directly or indirectly. And the themes in the two friends were discussed. The prominent themes in the two friends are horrors of war, friendship, loyalty and courage. Now let us concentrate on the two mark questions. The first question, which country are the two friends from? The two friends here refer to Monsieur Morisot and Monsieur Sauvage. Observe the word monsieur, that is a way of addressal and French men are usually addressed as monsieur. So here the answer is obvious, the two friends are from France and the answer is option B, France. What is happening in Paris at the time of the story? During the Franco-Prussian war, Paris was a city under siege. In 1871, besieged Paris was in the thoughts of famine. So we can say that Paris was surrounded on all sides and also within. It was surrounded from outside by the enemies and inside it was also undergoing a terrible famine. Why do the two friends think that they can go safely to their old fishing place? Remember when the two friends meet, accidentally meet in the Bole ward, they go to a nearby cafe and while drinking, one they get this reckless idea that they should just go on a fishing trip impulsively, then and there. But why do they get this idea? Is it because the river is far from the scene of battle and nothing will happen to them? Or the French colonel will permit them to pass or because they are both members of the French military? The answer is option B, the French colonel will permit them to pass. They are under the impression that the French colonel will be favorable towards them. He will give them the password, they can go fishing and then come back with no damage. It seems the French don't plan well to face the Prussians. True or false? The answer is option false there. Uh, they might not have physically 
planned how to face the enemies but yes at one point during the course of their conversation this topic does arise when one of them says what shall we do if the prussians come and surround us and the other says we shall just offer them our fish maybe they thought when the enemies see that they are two innocent friends fishing they will not do them any harm what did moriso and sawage do every sunday before the war Every Sunday Moriso met Mosho Savage a stout jolly little man a draper and he was also an ardent fisherman they both often spent half the day side by side rod in hand and feet dangling over the water and a warm friendship had sprung up between the two what do the two friends intend to do if the prussians caught them the two friends good humoredly decide to offer the prussians fish if they are caught by them in fact they thought that uh, it's not that they were not aware of the seriousness of the war but some way they had that inkling that uh, though they are enemy soldiers yet they will be able to see the good or the positive side of it and when they are able to convince them that they are just two innocent people fishing the enemy also might just take their fish and let them go why do the fishing rod slip away from the hands and fall into the river when the two friends were surrounded by the enemy soldiers they trembled with fear and the rod slipped from their owner's grasp and floated away down the river what does the german soldier want from the two friends the german soldier wanted the password from the friends which will enable them to enter the city of paris what is the soldier's justification for killing them if they don't comply comply as in to agree uh when the two friends show no inclination of agreeing to divulge the password the soldier says that he has got no qualms of killing them and how does he justify it he says the two friends were fishing in enemy occupied territory hence their killing is justified as a consequence of the war if they do not comply with the soldiers that is to say they were at the wrong time wrong place at the wrong time and the german soldier can actually justify saying that as he found these two uh, people spying he presumed they were spies and he killed them Monsieur Morisot and Monsieur Sauvage are great options provided are loners talkers or communicators and the answer is loners yes they tend to be or they were very happy to be left alone even they both even during those days when both of them went fishing they hardly spoke with each other so they were great loners and the other two options are not at all possible with Monsieur Morisot and Monsieur Sauvage match the following observe the phrases given in column a try matching it with column b in column a moriso sauvage elemarante a republic and king is provided while in column b taylor civil war foreign wars restaurant and watchmaker is provided so the answers when you match them properly are moriso by profession is a watchmaker sauvage is a taylor elemarante is a restaurant a republic is related to a civil war while king refers to foreign wars now let us concentrate on the paragraph answer questions for 5 marks paragraph answer questions should be more or less a page in length there the first question describe the relationship of the two friends before you start any paragraph question for that matter write a small introduction comprising of two sentences two or three sentences here you can start the answer with two friends is a short story written by g d mopassan it describes the effects of war uh, against the background of the franco prussian war these two lines serve as the introduction and then you can write in detail about both the friends you can attempt a character sketch of both the friends and the relationship between both the friends how the two friends were fishing chums and before the war on every sunday they used to go out fishing they were casual friends it's not that they were close friends they were casual friends even when they went out fishing they hardly spoke to each other and they were comfortable in each other silence and when the story starts they accidentally bump into each other they are happy to see each other and impulsively when the decision is made to go fishing the other agrees to it uh, somewhere they both seem to say uh, one day of fishing is better than lying in a misery for a lifetime and when they go fishing they both are captured by the enemies yet when they are forced 
even when they are under tremendous pressure they both do not reveal the password and they sacrifice their lives they are loyal to each other and the country and they sacrifice their lives for the country the second question had they not consumed absinthe the two friends could have faced the situation better discuss yes this is a question that needs to be uh, you know thought in a serious manner when the two friends bumped into each other at the beginning of the story they go to a nearby cafe to have absinthe it's a kind of a alcoholic drink when they are drinking impulsively one gets the idea reckless idea of going fishing and the other also agrees to it yes alcohol intoxicates people the mind becomes foggy maybe they were not thinking clearly due to the consumption of alcohol and as a result maybe they landed in such a situation yes i i feel maybe if they had not consumed absinthe without consuming absinthe if they had made the plan to go fishing maybe the situation would have been different granting of the password by colonel demolin is a mistake explain well it's hard to say colonel demolin was a frenchman and when two of his own countrymen approached him saying they just wanted to go fishing out of pity he gave them the password trusting them to be his own uh, countrymen but then one thing to be remembered what trust the colonel had on the two friends was retained by them because the two friends did not divulge the password but somehow not divulging the password actually became the reason for their death right about how fish symbolizes the two friends this is a minor theme in the lesson or the short story two friends the fish represents uh, you can say the friendship or the lives of the individual two friends there here you can see when the two friends have are in the middle of fishing they have already kept all the fish they have caught in a net all the fish there they were still alive and they were struggling to gasp at the end of the story when they are struggling when they are about to die one of the friends looks at the fish and he realizes both their situation are similar it is as if they used to fish or those fish were sacrifice their own lives for the uh, for the friends and the friends are going to sacrifice their lives for the sake of country essay answer questions these are usually for 10 marks please follow this uh, format an introduction a body or the main answer in 3 or 4 following paragraphs for added with relevant examples and finally a conclusion the essay answers that you can expect in the chapter does the end of two friends indicate meaningful patriotism yes the two uh, the conclusion of the two friends wherein both the friends refuse to divulge the password clearly indicates patriotism they were not soldiers they were not born soldiers they were just two regular friends at the and uh, at the beginning of the day they had no inkling that by the end of the day they would be forced to sacrifice their lives yes it is meaningful when you begin the answer start with an introduction as i have mentioned before two or three lines of introduction wherein first sentence should be the sto short story two friends is written by g d mopassan and then start your answer and in the last a conclusion the conclusion for this question can be observe the question does the to end of two friends indicate meaningful patriotism so in the conclusion if you have written the answer in a positive format you can say yes the end of two friends indicate a meaningful patriotism the question itself can be converted into as a conclusion explain the dehumanizing effect of war now this is a very good choice for a 10 mark question you you have lots to write not only from the context of the st story two friends even on a general scale how war has literally destroyed human civilizations everywhere can be explained you can write even on a general uh, general uh, aspect there about all the uh, about all the ill effects of the war apart from war who else are responsible for the tragedy discuss in fact here you can say war is the primary reason for the tragedy to happen the other people responsible are individuals themselves the situation the circumstances anything whatever you feel just give a elaborate discussion describe the carelessness and heroism of the two friends 
carelessness refers to the part of the two friends wherein they impulsively come up with the idea of going fishing and they even just go they on the spot they go home bring their fishing gear and they go towards their fishing spot that actually speaks of carelessness maybe if they had been more careful the situation would not have arose heroism is when they both are caught by the enemy soldiers and though prompted threatened abused etc yet they refuse to divulge the secret and they willingly sacrifice their lives for the country that calls for heroism in fact you can say that the two friends display both the characteristic traits of carelessness and heroism now let us uh, have a small multiple choice question what is happening in paris at the time of story war famine both or none of the above and the answer is option c both mopassant himself hated wars and soldiers yes no maybe none of the above it's very clear it's very evident through the course of the story that mopassant himself hated wars and soldiers and the answer is option a yes monsieur morisso is a dash cobbler watchmaker baker or a teacher and the answer is option b watchmaker monsieur sauvage is a watchmaker draper driver or a cook and the answer is option b draper what does the prussian officer want for them want from them what is he expecting from them password food fish or water and the answer is option a password the prussian officer wanted the password so that with the help of the password he can enter the uh, city of paris and try to destroy the city of course the two friends did not divulge the password and that did not happen references thank you